We are back on another segment of a video clip to build our hope, to stay and ensure that our hopes stay secure. And when we talk about hope, it's always good to say that hope, our hope is in God. Our hope is in the everlasting God, a God who is all-powerful, a God who is everywhere present, and a God who is all-knowing. And that is why hoping in him becomes something that is so, so, uh, so precious to as many as have chosen to believe him. Sometimes I will feel so sorry if, when I think there are people in this world who think that everything depends on themselves. I sometimes sympathize with the arrogant people. People who, who do not have the humility to understand that even their very lives depend on God. The ability of waking up in the morning and going about your own business. And that is why it is so sad when we think about, and that is why the word of God defines these people as foolish. The people who say there is no God. The people who do not regard God can only faithfully be defined as fools. Because indeed, if you look yourself in the mirror, or if you see the things around you, you, you must know there is a power greater than you are. And when you see the reports of people you knew too well, and they are no longer, they are gone, and when you know and you hear the, the things that are happening in the world, it should be a, a, a statement that should cause you to understand about this God. In our conversation of hope today, I'm looking at scripture in the, in the, in the book of Romans 8.24. And I want you to hear me well on this passage. It says, for in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is no hope at all. You cannot hope in what you have seen. But it says, who hopes for what they already have? If you have something, you don't hope for it. You already have it. Now, but for what you don't have, you hope. For what you don't have, you hope. Those of you who are young people, and I encourage our young people to look around and know what is God's desire for me. If you are a young person and you're trusting God for marriage, you, you need to keep your hope alive that God will connect you to a life partner that will work with you and support you and you'll be able to advance uh, God's agenda for your life. But those of you who are married, you know, you don't, you know, you don't hope for a, for a spouse. You already have one. Uh, if you don't have a job that you enjoy, you keep hoping for a better job and you keep sending applications out. And you need to keep that hope alive. You need to go out there, look for a job, and hope that you're going to get it. I hope that will be uh, a job that will be rewarding, uh, a job that will be challenging, a job that will fulfill you. Again, that is how we harness hope. But you can't hope for what you have. Now, when you think about uh, the, the, the condition of our, uh, of our economy right now, and we think about the things that are going on, that is why we have to petition God so that the hopes of the many will not be dashed. You can imagine what it is for somebody to have a job whereby they are not even assured of a pay because of the conditions that are there within the economic setting. But I must challenge those people who trust in God. One of the things I'm praying and hoping, and this remains as a very, very great hope of my heart, is that we are going to get people of faith, people who trust in Jesus, to encourage them to study and work hard so that they can position themselves as policy makers in government. They can position themselves as chief executive of, of, of co both corporate and public institutions. People who know that they can go in the morning and kneel down in the office before the, the time uh, they go early and take time to pray for God to change situations around the company, around the government offices, around uh, the areas of whether they are going to be uh, within the parliament, 
within any institutions of government. I'm also praying and I'm hoping that even after all this COVID is out, that, that really, that we will hear that lunch hours are, are back into uh, government offices. And if you are a believer, one of the things we emphasize is that every believer should become an ambassador where they are, an ambassador for Christ. If you are a believer in an office, remember you don't seek permission to go in. You don't need a gate pass to go in. You are employed in that company. I, the, one of the things that we, we believe can be a very great purpose for Christians, wherever they are, is to walk as ambassador of Christ so that wherever you are, you become a messenger, a messenger that carries hope to the people you work with. And you become that evangelist that tells people, yes, there, can, there is hope in Jesus. There is hope in God. You can have peace with God. And uh, that is a very, very great agenda. Even as we talk many times about the avenues of uh, changing our culture through the, through the seven mountains that influence civilization, I believe that every person, particularly those in the media sector, those in the education sector, those that are in, uh, in the technology sector, there is a role as a believer. And we encourage our young people to work hard, study sciences, study everything that can help you as a person to change. And we also need young people, brilliant people, to join the ministry so that you can also become effective pastors and evangelists so that, they are, so that we can advance the kingdom of God. One more time, what you don't, what you don't have is what you hope for. What you already have, you, you don't need to hope for because you have it. Let we continue to pray and to trust God. May God bless you as you hold firm to those things that you believe, to those things that you trust God for. Do not lose hope for the things you still hope for. And, I, and, and go out each day with a hope that what you are trusting God for will be fulfilled. Lord, we thank you again for the encouragement we have shared today. May you continue, Lord God, to show grace and mercy to as many as have chosen a path of choosing to trust you, that their hope will stay alive in Jesus' name. Amen.